on welcome to the channel all right special video for you all here today you might not be able to tell but i'm actually in a different car i am in this uh in our 2023 model y which we have with without fsd just got a 30-day fsd trial how about that and i did just receive this really neat update that provides um, this really cool UI. Um, let's take a look here since I'm in park here. See that it shows now officially like the full screen version of the car. And you can see that in park right here, which is really cool. And um, it's really responsive. And yeah, you're, you have the ability to open your charge port, frunk and trunk, and it looks really good. And it's got a map overlay, which is super awesome. Notice how we've got Tesla Vision showing over here because this is a hardware 4 car um, and it's picking that up. That's really cool. Um, wow, notice how it changed as soon as I went from drive to uh, putting it into uh, self-driving. It, it went back to like the cartoon instead of the Tesla Vision. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be my first experience using FSD in this car and I'm really excited to try it out. Um, it's cool that they gave us a free 30 day trial. I already have FSD on my Model 3, so um, it's not really anything new to me, but I've never experienced it in the Model Y. So um, yeah, this will be cool. Definitely looking forward to testing it out in the, you know, for the next couple weeks. And I will definitely be doing some direct comparisons to see like what I noticed the difference um, first of all let's talk about this UI it looks really good I like the way the speed is showing kind of like the Cybertruck the style of font feels a little different I like the overlay also taken from the Cybertruck really nice the way that's still showing me a little bit of the map detail and I'm still in like the full screen full self-driving mode so yeah, um, the car just had basic autopilot and all of a sudden, look, it's stopping at red lights here, which is something it never had the ability to do. Well, it all, always had the ability, it just wasn't unlocked. On this car, we did not purchase FSD with this car. This is just used as like a commuter and really awesome. You know, Model Y is, is, is a great car. Um, but when we got this, the price of FSD was like 15000 But, um, you know, with that $99 subscription, it's really, it's really a great way to get in to a self-driving car if that's something that you're looking to do. And it's not overly expensive. Some people pay more for their cable bill than they do, you know, 99 bucks. If that's something that you are more entertained on, who knows, maybe you're better off add up how much you're spending on Netflix and Disney Plus and Hulu and Prime and see how much time you really spend on all that. Is it more than a hundred bucks? Do you really watch that much TV? And uh, there you go. And you can entertain yourself by watching your car drive itself. But keep in mind, there's no time to be complacent here. This means that the car can drive itself, but it also requires you to be fully attentive and ready to take over for any reason. Um, notice we've, we got this big full self-driving maybe degraded, poor weather is detected, you see it's raining a little bit, so anything is possible. Even if that alert wasn't there, I would still be trying to, um, you know, just not be complacent. All right, so here we go with the right turn. FSD doing a really good job. I'm really digging this UI. I think it looks really good. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, but especially having the speed like really big in the top left uh, looks great compared to the way I'm used to it on the Model 3. Getting hit with a bunch of steering wheel nags, uh, which they mentioned that's something that's going to be going away soon, so really looking forward to that as well. Uh, but overall, I probably will discover some more um, tips and tricks to use with this UI. Right now I'm just getting used to the way it looks. Um, but another great thing with this Model Y is that dual motor. Oh my gosh, see I don't have that in my Model 3. I got a real wheel drive and it's great, it's fast, but it's not like that. 
and having that dual motor it really gives you that excitement on the road I mean compared to having a single motor it's it's like it's a pretty big difference now I don't like to race or speed or anything so you know I'm very very happy with the single motor um, but if, if you know that's something you like to do you can you know, really get that excitement behind the pedal of a dual motor can't even imagine what a plat is like so we're looking to make a left here onto Georgetown Pike and um, I love the fact that FSD knows look at the new arrows that they put on with this UI too it looks different than what I have in the model 3 it shows like a circle around the arrow so little things that I'm noticing but I do like um, overall yeah if you were deciding between a rear wheel drive and a dual motor just know that it really comes down to power and not range because this car is a dual motor and it requires me to keep it um, it's not an LFP battery so it's it's meant to be charged to 80% now my rear wheel drive is a single motor and it is an LFP battery and it has me charged it to 100% so now when it comes down to range, it's almost the same because unless I'm going on a road trip, then I, I would, you know, get that 100% battery. But every day, the big difference in the car is the power. It's not the range. And I know a lot of people think that it's all about the range. It's all about the range. But I think once you get down your habit of driving and you see like how many miles you drive normally and, you know, notice that 300 miles is like a lot for you know someone who typically drives like 30 miles a day that's 10 times more than you really need so just really consider the fact that um the the, the single motor is a little bit slower um but if you're using autopilot most of the time it's gonna drive very efficiently and you won't really notice the difference but if you're one of those drivers that likes to drive themselves and you want to put the you know pedal to the floor of course within the speed limits um then dual motor is for you i just my suggestion is don't get the dual motor if you're getting it because of the range because i get like 265 miles on my single motor model 3 and it is beyond efficient you know i fill that up once a week and it is plenty for me um so yeah when it comes down to range they're you know the most inexpensive tesla is is really good for a lot of people but of course if you want that extended range you know the model s and the x have that um that 400 and 450 mile range option which i think is just bizarre but at the same time sure why not if you can have it you know why not but all in all, really good job with this drive over here. Um, I noticed FSD just handling itself with pure smoothness. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.